Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be checking out a brand new FPS game that got released as of as of lately. And this, this game specifically has kind of crept up from the depths, really, from the YouTube community and people making videos about it. And I've been starting to see a lot of my friends play it. I've been starting to see a lot more YouTubers play it. So I decided to hop on and give it my first impressions and give it my first review. And that game is called Shatterline, by the way. It's a kind of a COD-style FPS game with uh, more cartoony graphics or like less realistic graphics. So let's hop on in and check it out. All right, we're in the actual game now. And there's an expedition mode. So this is kind of like a Tarkov PVE mode with a team. And this is the bread and butter. This is the PVP, which is what we're gonna hop into today. But they do seem like there are a few characters, about eight right now total. Don't know if, what the, exactly the plan is in terms of releasing more or less or what the future looks like. But it seems like there could also only be one per team or maybe one per game, depending on if somebody on the enemy team took one or not. Let's go ahead and go with Orbit here. No, Phil. You can customize your weapon with unlocks. Not the right level for any of those yet, or at least my gun isn't the right level. But I'm ready to go. This guy looks like he has a freeze grenade and a health station. All right, let's try to do work. Movement-wise, they're sliding in this game and they're sprinting, and I think that's really it. What's in the gar? Oh, I can punch the car. So this is cover that I guess you can move around and whatnot. There we go, there's our first kill. There's a drone, God knows what that does. I'm gonna try to Say throw it on the health station. And that is exactly what, oh, it's a health station that roams around and heals people. Wait, that's crazy. I'm gonna try to slide across here. Got one now. Freeze. Got one there. Oh, I think I traded that second one. Yes, double kill, and then the third got me, actually. Okay, you can see your teammates with the wall there. One down. Can I heal myself? Please? Beep boop. No. Got another one I could really use a little bit of med. Oh, there we go. Got the heal off. See to interact. Okay, so that's just... What is that? What the fuck is that? It's like a little robot that can kill you? So I'm guessing that's another player's ability, which is cool to see, but at the same time, I wasn't ready for Wally to ass fuck me. One thing I will note about this game is I think it takes a lot of inspiration from Call of Duty. What I think that's a, it's a pretty, pretty obvious thing, but it also feels like its own thing at the same time, just off of playing it so He's far and with the type of gizmos and gadgets there are and the way that the gunfighting works. Definitely has a lot of Overwatch inspiration in terms of having abilities and ultimates and whatnot. But we're currently getting absolutely fucking destroyed here. My team is getting round. For our first match, personally, I don't think we did too bad. 16-14, but the rest of our team was struggling a little bit. I would like to try to play somebody that's maybe a little bit more mobile. Maybe uh, has maybe some movement mechanics instead of a medic. Additional Whoops, with, <laughs> um, you know, the game modes that this game has and provides. There actually is a shooting range as well, which is quite handy to get your grips on whether or not you like certain weapons. Just get a feel for the aiming in general. I actually really like that. And it lets you fuck around with barrels. <laughs> as you unlock and progress, you'll be able to mess around with attachments and equipments in here. <laughs> figure out if they're day. actually good for your uh, class and what you want to do. And then you'll be able to hop right back into matches and actually use the things that you unlocked. Let's take a look at the operatives real quick, actually. You want some? Rupert roll. Go this dude it, seems bitch. to just have a ton of grenades, smoke grenades, increased regeneration. This is the medic Pick that has the, the kits. This one has Follow walls, grenades. Also has a better sprint. So this is kind of your movement character, actually. So I should probably try Strix out next match. I do Let's like moving. They're all pathetic. Kite has a hook and a revolver for his alt. So he used, he's the recon character, the one that he was able to reach different areas of the map. If we survive, Krista's also a recon character. Me. Phil is the medic, Orbit. Oh my God. Wait, that UAV is insane. Fire it up, baby. Ram has a throwing ax, a gravity strike, an exo kick. He does the sprint as well. And he has a hyper dash, a jetpack, which allows him to lunge into a specified spot, dealing massive area damage. Jesus. Okay, so we're definitely playing Ram or Strix in this upcoming we match. Fight it's just a matter of who. Let's go ahead and try out Strix. She does have a shotgun. I don't know how good the shotgun is, but let's find out. I love it when FPS games have really good shotguns because I think it allows for that ultimate close quarters combat experience. Allows you to really get in there and just 
and just feel like a badass. Kind of feel like John Wick in this in the fucking cut. All right, here we go. We gotta export the wagon. And I do have some abilities here. I kind of forgot. Oh boy. Oh, so I hit shift again and it engages an even faster sprint. I'm gonna try to throw those grenades there. That's gonna build a wall. All right, we're undercover here. What does my G do? Last bomb out. I think it's just a good old fashioned grenade. Oh shoot, I got sniped. I think I might have to put the shotgun away. I don't think I'm doing this right. Wait, was that my nade? Did he did he kill me with the drone? All right, definitely, I need to get the shotgun out of my hand though. This is, uh, this is no good. All right, we'll get the pacifier back in here. Oh, and it seems if you leave spawn, if you don't leave spawn, you could actually change your weapon on the fly, which is nice. Oh, the snipers are definitely the way to go here. Let's see if we can get a, see if we can get a good nade out there. Create some space maybe. Oh boy! I'm under so much fire. This is so bad. Yeah, right, HP regenerate. Yes, it does, but it's too late. In there. This man up here is causing a lot of problems for us. He's dealt with though. Now is a really good opportunity to push up. Never mind. There's still that sniper just holding it down. Oh my God! They got three of us. Oh, with the revival. There we go, got one. Let's see if I can throw the grenade right there. Break this guy's drone. Oh, through the wall. We need our sniper to take care of that guy. I do feel like the roles here are actually much more important than I would have initially expected them to be. I'm gonna make it rain. I'm gonna make it rain. Oh, I got two. I got two. Let's try to pull out the sniper here, man. I'm really tired of this dude just being able to absolutely destroy me. Oh, and he d d still destroyed me. I'm trying to do my best here. Oh, we definitely... I think we're losing this one. There you go. There's the headshot. No, I tried doing something there, but it's not going to work. Now with the sniper. Well, now we got to hold them off that far. In my opinion, the sniper seems like the best way to go about... Making sure people don't go anywhere. Maybe this first corner is more AR focused. Dude, these guys instantly started moving that truck. I think that is... This guy again? How did he get there already? Wait. Did he just kill me with the car? You can also just run people over with the truck. one and I got all wait oh no I'm still there I am I am I dead am I not oh man these guys are all over us they're actually professionals I'm actually wildly impressed on how hard I just got fucked that's quite impressive I didn't expect there to be that big of like a like a skill gap that would be that noticeable that fast but seems like there is this man was a menace with the sniper Oh my god. Just head hunting. Nah, I was going up against some veterans right there, man. So it also seems like outside of just expedition and verses, there's actually weekly events where, you know, it's either you go on a co-op mission that's unique and tailored specific, or it's an event like Barricade, which I have no idea how to play it, but I guess we'll find out. I would assume that these are things to keep the game fresh and new experiences for the players to play. Hopefully it's not just something that's recycled or put through a loop that you kind of just play again and again. You know, you play the same four or five modes. But yeah, let's try out the barricade mode. Now let's try a new character as well. Let's let's give a let's give our boy a little whirl here. I wonder if there will also be more weapons as well later in the game. Because currently there are only four. And that's what everybody plays with. You can unlock more guns. Okay. It's very similar to COD then, in the sense of, you know, the more you level up, I'm guessing your account level the more guns that you unlock overall, right? So we could build like a base here. What in the hell? Wait, this is so cool. So we can't build in the red area, but we could build, so I could build like a little, oh, well, it's, it's over. Team versus team now. And now we just, now we just go at it. What 
does that do? It's my lucky day. So I'm guessing we need to just wipe everyone out and then we win the round, right? This is such an interesting game mode. I would have never expected this to be what it was. You literally just build barricades and it's kind of like SMD where when you die, you're eliminated or or Valorant or one of the, one of the you know, like attack shooter game. There is no respawns here. Well, this man just doing his absolute best to just not get mauled. Now this is a completely different zone. Now this is our structure. And now we're just like playing a completely custom map. This is so creative, I love this. And you can break the structures. The one thing that I gotta say like, that this mode makes me feel confident about when it comes to this, te this game and this team is that they're not afraid to just try stuff out. And I, oh my, there's somebody behind us. Where am I getting shot from? Wait, where is he? Wait, 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 what? Was he right there the whole time? Oh, well, that's it for me. I guess we can spectate our teammates now. Oh, and there, okay, so there are more than four guns. I gotta unlock some weapons because this guy has an AK. Oh, the revival. Oh, we won. I'm not done building my home. <laughs> oh, we totally can. We can just trap ourselves in a nice little hole. Not have to worry about anything. Oh, we can make a little window for our home. I'm trying to go for a play. Play the game. Woo! That's a double! Woo! What a way to close out the round. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that last match specifically. The other matches, I got absolutely fucking shit on, so I hope you didn't enjoy those. But if you enjoyed Shadowline, if you like what you see, go ahead and download it on Steam. The game is free to play. The team that's making it have been very active in the community. They, they watch a lot of YouTube content that are active in their Discord that they make for themselves. They're very involved and hands-on with their community, which is also refreshing and nice to see. If this is a game that you enjoy, please put down in the comments below as to why and what you think this game will become. But um, also be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.